Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So after my last video on configuring the Airbus Thrustmaster um, throttle for the CRJ, I got a few requests asking for how can you do the same for the 747 and the 787. So today I'll show you how you can use this throttle, the single quadrant with four engine aircraft. And how could you use the same methodology to configure a four engine aircraft if you have two of these? And then I'll also show you the same for the 787. So uh, just load into any airport on using 747. Uh, I'm at London Stansted for now. And uh, let's get started. All right, so we loaded into the cockpit. And as you can see, uh, using the default A320 profile, that is what happens to my throttle quadrant. And um, when I try to increase the throttle, it does it quickly just moves to maximum like I'm just moving a little bit and it just hits max so there's hardly any any room for me to move it all right so what are we gonna do is go to controls and configure new profile for the 747 so um, just go to preset manager click on new profile we can call this 747 click ok and uh, there's nothing assigned right now so first we go to sensitivity and reset these two settings click done so this is saved go back to sensitivity and now you can see it is a straight line. So what we need to do next is to get this dot on the x-axis. And that would be to define your neutral zone. So move your neutral all the way till this dot sits on that line. In my case, this is 41%. In your quadrant, it could be different. So just make sure the dot touches a line. And so for this one, at 42%, it sits exactly at this point on the line. The next thing you need to do is introduce some dead zone. So this point is actually your idle uh, thrust lever. And when you go back, it goes into the reverse thrust range. And when you move forward, it goes into uh, the actual um, forward thrust. So what you need is a bit of dead zone to help you split the two movements. So I did 5%, so that introduces a bit of a dead zone. And then you go and do the same for the second lever and create a bit of dead zone. Click done. The other thing to remember on this setting is what is this lever called. So in this case, it is called joystick L axis X. And this one's called, the second one's called joystick L axis Y. And it's important to note these names because when you have two of these, you need to then go to your second quadrant. You need to do the whole procedure exactly as we did for the first one. But the only thing is you need to know what those names are for the additional two uh, levers. So remember L X is X, which is this one, and L X is Y, which is this one. All right, so now we search for the throttle setting, and this time we need to find throttle one X is zero to hundred percent. Click on the empty box, click on the drop down menu, find joystick L X is X and click validate and then click on reverse axis so now you assigned this lever to your throttle one axis and now we have the choice we can have the same lever for throttle two or you could have the same one for throttle four in my case i will use the left lever for throttle one and two and the right one for throttle three and four so it's easy to remember on the actual airplane. 
So now we go to throttle two axis, we scroll down, select the same joystick LX as X. You'll get a message it's already bind to something else, which is fine. We click validate, we click reverse axis, and now you can see this lever actually moves both throttle one and throttle two. Now we need to go to throttle three. And this time we find joystick L axis Y. Click validate, click reverse axis. And you can see it is now moving. Now we go to throttle four, click on the box, go to the drop down list and find L axis Y. You get the same message, that's fine, click validate. Click reverse axis, and now you can see both throttles are moving with the same lever. Click apply and save. And I don't have two quadrants, but I'm very sure it will work the same way for both quadrants. The only thing you need to do is for the, the in case of two quadrants, your throttle one and two would be one of these, and throttle three and four would be the second one. So you just need to go to the two throttle quadrants. You need to see what these levers are called. In the sensitivity settings, you can easily find that. And you need to assign throttle three and four to the correct levers. But um, I think you could just um, easily have one throttle quadrant and be fine with it. So you don't have to spend extra money because in normal flight, you will not really use all four throttles. So it's just um, maybe in an emergency or something like that, you would actually need to change the, the thrust levels for all four engines. Otherwise, in normal circumstances, they're all synchronized. Okay, so time to test. So we now load it in. So now I'll move lever one. And I can see throttle one and two are now moving in the full range of motion. And I go back, pull the thrust reverser, and that too works as expected. You try the same for throttle two. Full range of motion and click reverse thrust. It works well. Next, I'm going to demonstrate an aborted takeoff to show you that these are working as expected. All right, so we'll give a bit of thrust, let the engine spool up, release parking brakes, apply full power, let the aircraft roll. Let's go to external view. We can see all four levers are full. Airspeed is active. At 100 knots, we'll hit a wheel of to take off. So 100 knots, levers back to idle, thrust reverse is applied. And very nicely, we get an aborted takeoff. The only thing missing there was the ground spoilers are not armed, but that is okay. Cool. So let's now see how this works in the 787. Okay, so we are now loaded in a 787 at the same airport. And we'll now see if the same same profile as the 747 works on the 787. So as you can see, we get the full range of motion, which is great. And without making any adjustments, this is working. The thrust traversers, they work. Let's Again, try this out on an abort to take off. It's applying a bit of power. Engine spool up. Release parking brake. Apply full power. Let the aircraft roll. Go to external view. At 100 knots, again, we'll abort to take off. 
Okay, aborting takeoff. Thrust neutral. Thrust reverse is applied. This time the ground spotter is activated. And very nicely we abort the takeoff. So you can see without any change of settings, it works for the 787. So I hope you found this useful and it helps you get more out of your Thrustmaster Airbus Throttle Quadrant. Do like the video and subscribe to the channel and let me know what else you'd like to see. Thank you and goodbye.